I'm going to talk about editing a slab. I'm just going to draw a rectangular slab in my screen here and I'm going to go into the arrow tool and select the slab. And what I'd like to just talk about are the different controls that come up when we either click on a node or an edge of a slab. First let's start with the node. Left click on the node and this palette is going to pop up here. And you can see we've got a lot of options in here. This first option in here is going to allow us to move the node. So if we move our cursor around the screen and click again, you can see we've moved that node and reshaped the slab. I'm just going to undo that, get back to our slab we started with, click on the node again, and this option directly underneath move node, this one up here, is just move in general or drag. So in this case we're actually just moving the whole slab as opposed to one node. So let's try that out. I'm just going to click. You can see we've uh, dragged or moved the slab to a new location. I'm going to left click on the node again. Uh, this option up here will be to fillet or chamfer this particular node. So we can fill it. Uh, if we could fill it at six feet, you know, maybe we could change that to be three feet. Take a look at what that looks like. Uh, I'm going to undo that. Click on the node again. Uh, we could apply it to all the corners if we wanted to. I'm going to undo that. Chamfer, very similarly, we can chamfer three feet. We're going to chamfer that corner there. Now. And to escape out of here, we just hit cancel. We can move on to this next one here, uh, offset all edges. What this one allows us to do is to sort of change the offset or the outline of the slab. Of the slab. So if we needed to grow our slab or to shrink our slab, we could do it using this option here. Uh, this is particularly useful for, I'm going to delete the slab, say, if we have a set of four walls and this could be something more complicated and we've drawn our slab and our slab is to the inside of the walls grabbing the arrow tool selecting the slab and I realize that's not what I wanted where what I wanted was for the slab to be on the outside of the walls uh, we could delete the slab and draw the slab over again but just as easy we can click on a node choose this third option here and just offset the slab so that it matches the outsides of the walls. So that's one place where that could be very useful. I'm just going to delete these items and draw a new slab here. Arrow tool again, select the slab, click on the node. This option here will allow us to add to the polygon or add to the slab if you will. So let me show you how that works. I'm just going to click on that option there and I could click anywhere on the slab uh, but let's click on this node here and you can see I'm starting to draw a new slab but when I click it actually adds to the old one. This is very very useful because you may add to your structure um, or often it's easier to create part of a slab and add to it later on rather than trying to get all the geometry right there right away uh, everything correct. Um, now notice we added a rectangular piece of slab we could let's take draw, click on the node again and we're in the same option if we choose this option here we could add to the slab uh, using some other shape here and you just want to go back to where you started from and that will add to the slab. Similarly, if we click on a node and we go to the subtraction here, we can click on a node and just as we add to a slab, we can subtract from a slab as well. I'm going to click on this node here. Uh, we've talked about move already. This would allow us to rotate. 
Uh, here's how we rotate. We can uh, pick a point on here. I'll just pick this corner. Click. The next point we uh, pick is think of as a handle. I'm going to click here. And then we're able to rotate around that first point that we clicked. Think of the first point as a rotation of axis. And so we could rotate. I'm just going to undo that. Go back and click on the node. And this option here will allow us to mirror the slab. So if we really wanted this shape to be a mirror image over here on the right side here, we can click here, click back on this node, and we can go back and we can mirror that guy over. Now, suppose we wanted to mirror a copy. Uh, that option is not in there, but what we could do is right click and say move mirror a copy and we'll do the same thing over the other side and you can see we've got two slabs in here two mirror copies of each other let's see what else do we have in here we've got ah, this will allow us to elevate so if I click on this and I say three feet in here click OK what this has done you can't tell in plan view is that it's elevated this slab by three feet or so. So let's go into 3D here and we can see that one slab over here to the right has been elevated three feet. Go back 2D. I could click on this node again, click on elevate and say negative uh, three feet. Click OK. And go back to 3D. You can see we're back down to zero zero. Um, let's see, the left click on this node, let's go into the last option here, which is multiply. And there's a whole lot of options in here. Uh, but just to give you sort of a taste of what this can do, suppose we wanted to spread copies of this slab out every, I don't know, 25 feet or so. And I click OK. I go back into my drawing here and we could just click on our slab anywhere and as I go to the right here you can see we're dragging copies and every 25 feet it places a new copy of that slab there. So it's a quick way to uh, you know maybe you want to make some papers or something like that but in this case we're much too large to do that. So that's just a quick taste of uh, some different buttons that are available when we click on a node of a slab the next video we'll talk about is uh, if we click on an edge of a slab.